Good morning, Warren Peacock here. Today we can see the Australian dollar has an overall score of 12. It has strengthened again uh, on the smaller time frame. So hourly now has a score of 5, hourly score of 6. Uh, Australian dollar continues to consolidate, in my opinion, based on this matrix, uh, swinging from weakest to strongest. Uh, the daily chart hasn't changed, so uh, just consider that to be oscillating. The uh, Canadian dollar is strongest overall now with a score of 14. So that's still holding steady there. Swiss franc holding around the 10 mark. Uh, today has a score of 11. The euro is still the weakest. Uh, has a score of 3 now. That would only be on the hourly charts. On the uh, dollar here, we've seen quite a bit of ground lost. Uh, the dollar index itself is consolidating. It's a bit of a triangle formation at the moment. The uh, dollar last week had a score of 14 on Thursday. And today it has a score of 8. So certainly some dollar weakness coming through on the intraday time frames. Uh, the hourly has a score of zero, putting the dollar weakest, and a score of one, which is just slightly uh, stronger than the euro. So dollar certainly under pressure. Uh, we'd have to wait and see whether the daily charts change or not. Uh, I do expect some dollar weakness, same as I expect a little bit of euro strength, but uh, the matrix will, will keep us informed as to what's going on there. If we go down to the charts, uh, the EuroCAD we did speak about last week, uh, it's broken that support level, the trend has continued down, uh, there's not much else to say about it, uh, you know, when you zoom out a little bit, uh, you can see there's another support level there, uh, you can just put a line in, it's sort of bounced on that, uh, not a very strong support level, but it is there, we'll have to see whether that breaks uh, and the trend continues lower. The Euro to the Dollar. Uh, this chart is consolidating definitely. Uh, it hasn't quite formed a double bottom, slightly higher low here. Uh, should the resistance level up here be broken, then we can probably see the euro bouncing a little bit, uh, see a bit of a rally here. The 89 should offer some resistance. Uh, the idea would be if it does break, uh, there are various resistance levels on the way up. Uh, you've got that support level, so that's level one, level two, level 3 up here. Uh, we'll just have to see how it works out. I think if that support level breaks, uh, then we're probably on our way to parity. Uh, but I, I do expect a rally before that happens. But expectation and reality must be separated. The euro to the Australian dollar. Yeah, this chart uh, it looks nice to, to trade on the shorter term. You could probably get a few swings in here. The uh, chart is on support. It had a false break. Uh, it's you know, it's pulled back a little bit. That does look like a bit of a bear flag, although we don't have a decent pole. Um, not my favorite looking chart, but it does come up on the matrix. So a little break of that support level, which is busy doing now. Uh, there might be a short-term trading opportunity down to support. The euro to the CAD, uh, as per the daily chart, looks like it's trying to reverse at the moment. That little s upswing, uh, we'll see how that pans out. Nothing's changed. Daily chart rules uh, at this point. The four hourly doesn't really give us a trading opportunity. The Australian dollar to the US dollar on the hourly charts. Uh, we can see that strength. Bit of a diamond formation coming along here. Uh, we can put our little trend lines in something like this. Uh, and the expectation would be dependent on the break. So whichever side of that pattern breaks. I uh, would expect at least a, a 161 extension. Uh, we just have to see how that works out. The idea would be Australian dollar strong intraday, US dollar weak intraday. Uh, daily trends have to be taken into account, but there are certainly some short-term trends. Uh, sorry, short-term trades available. Uh, the dollar to the CAD, uh, we saw last week, uh, if we just go to the daily chart, we can see that consolidation broken to the downside. Uh, the trend hasn't changed yet. But this does appear to be quite a weak chart now. Uh, maybe a pullback to resistance to give us a trading opportunity. Uh, but like I say, the trend hasn't changed yet on the daily. But certainly the smaller time frames have changed. And if we go to our four hourly chart, uh, no real opportunity, no real defined support level. So four hourly doesn't really give us a trade. Uh, on the hourly chart, we could probably use uh, either moving average crossover or maybe support line break. And then uh, we can just put a support level in. Uh, that would be my support level for now. And we'd have to see whether this Canadian dollar strength can continue and US dollar weakness. Thank you very much. We'll chat again tomorrow.